Okay, this is going to be some more uh, tests here on the ferro fluid. Right now, I've got it sitting on a speaker magnet, and it seems to it's turned the uh, ferro fluid into a like a type of bowl. I'll just lift it up here, and it should all just kind of come back into the middle. I'm taking it away from there. There's the here, right here. I'm right tight to the uh, to the magnet. Now I'm starting to take it away. And the fluid all returns to the middle. Uh, that was just a quite a different effect. And here's this configuration. Just by concentrating on this, I can move it. Here I go. I can only do it for as long as I can blow out for some reason. up doing a pretty neat little pattern here in a second too. Something I was just noticing a few minutes ago is if I uh, pull it over to the one side quickly it will actually spin. Those two in the middle will start spinning. There's a type of force going on with, uh, with the, the way that I have the, uh, the magnets laid out here like that. Two are conflicting and two are uh, well they're all four conflicting I guess but See the separation between them in the middle there. Anyways, when I uh, if I move this all close to one side, all of a sudden you see how the uh, two in the middle react. They start spinning. small ones that just spun out here. That's just by pulling it to uh, one side or the other. All the forces of the magnets are fighting each other. Okay, I've got a, another configuration of magnets here. A couple more actually. to attach this without it splashing. Now, 
some good dead there, just for a minute or two. See if I can get anything to spin in here by forcing it up to one side. I don't think so though. No. I collapsed one of the magnets on the on the underside there, so it changed the uh, the configuration a bit. Okay, and I've got one more to do here. This one, the next one is a bar magnet. This one here, I use it for uh, cows. Stick it inside a cow's belly, and uh, it collects minerals and shit that the cow eats over a period of time. Called a cow magnet, as far as I know. Okay, it's very, uh, very weak on end to end. <coughs> the other end here. <coughs> now it starts to get pretty interesting, like this. Just when I flop it over sideways here on the side like that. It's uh, a little effect going here. You can actually see the uh, the orientation of the magnet on the square magnet. Spin it on the bottom. Need more magnets now. 